directly next to the connector there. See the grey one nearest the connector? Yep. That's that D, one there. S and D. Yeah, it's a DX. DX. Yeah, it's that jumper it needs to move down, the top jumper. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the one. Well, it's on, it's on... It's got like a Still. one. <laughs> yeah, one and a two. Yeah, it just moves down to two. That's all it does. It's between... So, between two and the middle one. Yeah, it numbers it one and two, but it doesn't number the middle pin, if that makes sense. And that's it. That's all it does. Yeah, so it's need. now connected to two in the middle. Yep. So it should, in theory, work. Yep. That's <laughs> um, if Windows plays. Well, that's easier than doing a wire. Yeah, I suppose. It's just I was worried about all sorts of things falling apart and wires getting trapped or taking it apart. You could leave it out of the case if you, if the power cable stretches. Mm -hmm. At least, at least the um, what's it called? At least the power supply is nicely housed. Right, that's on. Leave that slide there. I'll hook that back up. Oh, can you see? Oh, you can see. Hey. Right, we'll hook that back up. Upside down. Those yeah. pins still need joining together. Uh, no, no, I shouldn't, because I only use that one pin anyway. That pin um, 26, where the red wire is, that's that's the only pin it needs anyway. Um, wait a minute. Think about this. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, oh, dear. Wow. Uh, you could be right, actually. Wow. How did I explain it before? Have I just got it completely wrong way around? Oh, why do I keep doing this? I thought I'd just done all this research and I forget. <coughs> <sighs> no, that, that's not, still not going to work. What needs doing? Because it, the PC is always trying to do wire 12 uh, as, it, as drive A. But we haven't hooked up what wire 12. We only hooked, hooked up wire 10. If that makes sense. So, so this would have worked if only I'd I'd hooked up all four of these select wires. But we haven't done that. So you still can't get it to see it as drive A unless you change the wire over. There's no way around it. I oh, know. Sorry. I, I completely. I don't know how I did that. Brain's thinking in reverse. Oh, bugger. Sorry. Wire from pin 10, is it? PC sets choices for 0 and drive 1, is it? Pin 12. Yeah, only, only just pin 12. Wire 12. Uh, but, but instead of having to remove... Pin 10 what, is connected. Pin 12 is connected. No, it's pin... Wire 12, I call it wire, so it's on the actual cable from the PC end. Wire, the wire from the PC end is connected to pin 26 on the cable, where you had the wires wrapped around. If you, want, if you wanted to make it kind of universal, so you just had to move the jumper, you still have to connect to wire 12 on the cable, but it, it would go to pin 28. So you have to unwrap the cable. I'm confused. It's not too right. bad. Yeah, I have to unwrap and then find wire 12 under there. You're evil. <laughs> I say to be honest, it's probably, it was probably easier in the long run anyway because it lets us um, change it around. The drive's still fine as it is. I mean, I'll go get mm, yeah, possibly. Um, I don't, oh, nearly cut it off. Unless you can twist it with the um, all those pins on there, it doesn't really matter if all the pins are connected. Still, don't think it's a good idea to leave the um, red wire connected though. It's because the PC doesn't. Pin twenty-six. Oh God. No, it's wire. Wire so twenty-six. No, it's wire. Wire twelve. It's two, 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 um, different, two different sets um, of pinouts because the um, 
What? Obviously, at the end, the cable's yeah. different. Oh. oh, shit. Hang on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm, twelve is. Where's twelve go? I think. Could be a slightly easier way if you um. It's connected to something. Uh, twelve. Twelve. I found. The sun. Possibly. Hang on. Let me count. Let me count this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 is connected to pin. Well, it's the one on its own, the one we connected to the others. Uh, that's, so that's this is what happens when I leave things for like so long I don't even remember what I did before. <laughs> um, that was actually connected <laughs> the other way around anyway, then, meaning that um, it would have shown up as drive, it should have shown up as drive A anyway. I think the whole problem with what happened here is because we had the cable upside down, we didn't realise. Uh, so it should have it should have seen it as drive A anyway. Uh, I was trying to think about this. <laughs> did the drive yes, well. did the, the drive only ever respond when we had it on uh, set as drive B? Yep. Okay, maybe it's not reversed on the PC then. Um. You didn't see what happens with that jumper. Well, that's the problem because it's jumping the wrong pin now. The jumper, not the, the jumper needs to be changed back. We just had it in that position, didn't work. I don't understand what's going on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no things easy. So confusing because we, it didn't. It only ever read it when it was set to drive B on the PC, didn't it? Yep. But that is wire twelve. So. All oh, right. Yeah. So it's back to front. So it's back actually. A bit, uh, how I thought the cable was is how we actually want the cable to be because it isn't reversing the PC. PC uses select zero as drive A. So in other words, when I said it had pin 10 on that pin 26, that's actually how we wanted it, but it wasn't like that. So now it's not going to work because it won't respond to it at all because the jump is set. I'm confused. No, no, I know what's happened now because it's been too long since I since I did it all. I'd already connected that wire for um, drive B. So you'd actually need to connect wire 10 in place of where that 26 is. Mm, top this fail. Yeah, it won't read it now. It won't read it at all. There's no there's no way it can work with the jumper set. Oh, paint box is evil. Yeah. It's so evil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember what, how I did the cable now because it's just from memory from a long time ago. Can't even, do, um, can't even hum to yourself because you get copyright notice. <laughs> Why is there so much lag? There's a lot of lag. There's a huge amount of lag. Is that? Yeah, well, when I can hear it back from yours, it's about two seconds behind. You've not got the live feed going as well, have you? No, it was, I noticed it was going slow just now because Facebook wouldn't load properly. It's probably my internet. 
Um, it won't no, work. It's at not all. It won't work at all now, Steve, because the jumper which we just set. It's my fault. Sorry, I, I completely forgot how I'd how I'd wired it from ages ago. The reason it wasn't working originally is because we had this, the cable upside down. So basically, that jumper, when it was on DX1, that is on the tw pin 26 that is wired. Does that make sense? When the jumper is set to 2, that's pin 28, which isn't wired. By the way, this still isn't solving the problem because you have to change the wires around still. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I'd have wired all four up, it might have had a chance of... No, we still would have had changed jumpers anyway, so... Yeah, definitely back to DX1. That should be okay now. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> You're sacked. Sack, 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 sack. No, it's not. It's, just, it's so long. It's been about five months since I did that cable. Excuses. I'd already done all the research thinking that is okay, but I, re I assumed that because it wasn't working that I'd wired something differently, but I, almost, I actually hadn't. It's because we no, had the cable... No, it's because we had the cable upside down because I couldn't physically see the drive. <coughs> Is it something I could be able to check normally? Right, so what we're moving where? <laughs> uh, it is actually pin wire 10 needs to be swapped with where that red wire is going to 26. Wire 10, wire on, the 10. Yeah, on the cable itself. <laughs> Which shouldn't be Six, connected. Eight, nine, 10. 10 is not connected. Uh, is there quite? Did I trim it quite short, or did I um, leave anything yeah, there? It doesn't reach. <laughs> yeah, no, it won't reach. You have to. Reach. Um, you can peel out. You can change. You can. You can sort of cut pin twelve, wire twelve, if you want. It comes from that red pin. Ah. And then join it to the pin ten, if you want. That do it that way. Pardon? You know the uh, the wire that's on pin twenty six on the plug that's on its own. Yeah. The red one. If you snip that down to where pin 10 is, wire 10. Yeah. And you might be able to twist the wires together then. Oh, just snip it. So. Yeah, just snip, so it's long enough to reach and then just join the wire to, to that because we want to re replace that pin 26. Pin 26. Really. Well, you know, there's two different sets of pinouts here because there's the, obviously 1 to 34 on the wire, on the cable. And then there's all the numbers on the connector, which is different. So where you have uh, pin 26, you know, is the one with the red wire. Yes. We want that to be joined to to cut cut it and join it to pin wire 10 on the cable. <laughs> does, they, does that then need to be joined to any pins, or is it no. just joined the two together? No. So, so that cable. So what's happened is that cable there. Because I thought the way the PC worked was it swaps the things round, and I was think I was wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that uh, is... So we're see. cutting that one. Yeah, that one there, that, what it does, that wire is coming from the drive A, the drive B select from the PC. Yeah. And wire 10 that you've got, that you found, is what is the drive A select signal. So we need that. So we just yeah, we need to join it to there, but obviously you need to cut the um, existing wire from pin uh, 26. Installed. Right, I shall. I'll look at my carpet while I have a try. <laughs> so I also, my... so also, obviously the one, with the, the one with the heat shrink on, you can... Uh... <laughs> I can hear fluffiness. Oh god, what is that noise? There's all nerdy shenanigans going on. Who keeps posting in the group? Ping pong!
Okay, I am preparing pin 10. Why no. 10? Yeah, so you have to um, you strip that bit. Worse, yeah, don't do that again. Mm. Have to blame the sausages. Mm. We can't we can't mention the brand because we get a copyright notice. I can. Local butchers. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> They aren't branded, they just look from the local home. Much better. Snipping 26. So 26, okay. you want to keep it longer so you can use the end of it. Does that make sense? So you keep the heat shrink end on, yeah? And, and I'm just joining 26 and 10 together. Yep, pin 26 to wire 10. So it's wire your... that goes to 26. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's confusing. Yeah. So you're leaving the so heat I'm shrink. just joining these two wires together. Uh, is that where's wire twenty six? And that's the one that goes to twenty six. To the red heat shrink one, yeah. That was yeah, that was on twenty six. So I've just taken that, snipped that, and I'm joining them together. Uh, I'm still not sure. Is that's that right? no, that's not right. No, that's what I was trying to explain, but. <laughs> no, we need it to connect to that pin. Oh. That pin on the connector is the um, the floppy drive select signal. So wire mm -hmm. that wire ten that you have from the from the PC end yeah. needs to connect to pin twenty six where the red one was on the connector. Right, it doesn't <laughs> really reach. Well, that's what I was saying. I was saying to reuse the wire that's already on there. And cut it, leave it longer so you can twist the wires together. But you pull the wire. Oh, off. Take that wire off 26, cut the end yeah. off it, and extend 10. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, I didn't want to sort of say it too many times. but... <laughs> right, I am doing that. I am. It was a bit I know it's a bit confusing because um, it's not the usual thing. I am yeah, using the end of 26 to extend number 10. And it's uh, just shot well, no. The did you leave? You left the wire. Did you pull the wire off the pin, though? Yes. Yeah. No, that was what I meant. Not to. Yeah. To. <laughs> I have no idea what you meant. Well, I'm just going to reconnect it, Gashley. Yeah. So wire ten to that pin. I am the king of Gash. I pulled that a lot. Oh, I'm not singing. No, <laughs> don't sing. Even the song. Ashens. Return of the Jedi on the Amiga or something. Uh, Patrick saying bloody brilliant about Ashen's video. Someone setting up an internet cafe in North Korea. I might just use a piece of solder as well. Hang on. <laughs> just for now. Just for the new. Kim Jong Un. I don't know how I'm going to get him to hold without the bloody setting up the gun. Oh, I just want to save you that. Uh... Yeah, so that wire, when the jump is set to DX1, that wire goes low and the drive wakes up. Which is 26 now. <laughs> right. <laughs> that one. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> it's oh. probably going to require solder, but yes, I think it is. Mm, can't get away without that. I don't know if you can. Um, I don't <laughs> think you can leave it leave it grounded permanently. I don't think it works. I don't think it likes that very much. Still suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was actually, I actually, I actually made the cable right. It's just because we had the plug upside down. So you didn't make it right? No, I did it right. Hang on, just fetch my cell phone. Oh, Mr. VX. Cheeky bugger. Oh, yeah, as I say, we should, um, are we going to report this is live? Uh, I might say it's a live, boring hangout in progress. Oh, 
how to get back onto. Oh, I hate Facebook. Yeah. Can hear. It always, sounds, it always sounds like you've fallen down the stairs in that house. Sorry? It always sounds like you've fallen down the stairs. I know, it's got to be a kooky stairs. <laughs> well, I can hear disk drive whirring through the carpet. I met that with its, uh, with its plug stuck in it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realised I realised how good the Metcow is when I, I had the um this other version that I brought that just heats up like a normal iron. It took forever to heat up, and it wasn't hot enough. Messing about for ten minutes, and then I used my proper soldering iron, proper Metcow, and it heats up in five seconds. It's superb. Well, it's no, I can't say Metcow. Sorry, that's a brand name. You evil one here. Would anyone, do you think, it's, should I put the hangout on the group just for anyone that's interested on the, well, not really. Just the one? <laughs> no, not the hangout, sorry, because that would probably start an all-nighter. Um, just the, um... There's two viewers watching. I'll just say there's a live broadcast on Steve's channel. Yeah, this is not the nighttime one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the during room session. <laughs> I'll put boring... Boring techno video. <laughs> um, hang out. Make happening later. Smiley face. I do like my emoticons. They don't. They don't have one for rolling eyes. Though, I don't think. I have to find a sarcastic emoticon. Oh, so that's my default setting. I have to sit it for work. Where's my sword gun now? Oh, I hate this fabric out there. What the hell is a Pusheen? I've never seen the Pusheens on Facebook. Sounds rude. Whew, stinky. Speak for yourself. Well, I am stinky. <laughs> oh, I, I, was, I was trying to solder a cable from uh, the VGA, the VGA box on the Dreamcast to the TV from the BBC Micro on the FPGA, which isn't working very well. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, we'll have two real BBC sat here. Right. Try again. Could be here a while. <laughs> this is the uh, theme tune from the Thin Blue Line. Don't sing! I know. Is it, it surely doesn't pick up its speech as well, does it, for copyright? Not yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe it does. Well, I know it, I know it does, but I don't know if it bothers with copyright for that. We can't even say Tannoy. It's one of those things people use as a, as a generic name. It's actually a copyright. Like Hoover. I could say Hoover. Oh, yeah. I could say Dyson, but that, that was just a name. Just doing this without my help in hand. Miles Bennett Dyson. Oh, he said Miles. Everyone knows the Terminator runs on the 6502. Crap, I've just joined two pins together. They're huge pins. I know, but your solder, <laughs> as I touched the solder you put on, came off and jumped across. Like, oh, oh, okay. That's that's actually not so bad. If it goes across, it doesn't really matter if it goes across all four pins still on there. All it means is it doesn't matter where you put the jumper then on the, on the floppy drive. It will always work. It might be an idea anyway, actually. That's all it does is, is those four select lines there. Pins 26, 28, 30, oh. 32 are the four jumper positions on the hard drive, on the floppy drive. Oh. Oh, 
plugged in. <laughs> Try. Oh god. Yes. Sorry. My indigestion is a bacon and chips. I'm not sure hangout is a good idea when I've got um, Manabu on hand. Good old, <laughs> just won't last about ten, more than 20 minutes, I'll be asleep. We're going to laugh at you, it's alright. Just get a big headache. Well, I said I did um, mm -hmm. a bottle of, bottle of uh, Manabu for my birthday, and my, br my brother drank it last night in one, one go. Did say he could, yeah. but I didn't, I'd expected slightly more of the bottle to be left in the morning. Okay, right. Um, where's the damn? <coughs> That's connected, but it's extremely gosh. Can't see anything. Let's do a continuity check, make sure we've got the basics. <laughs> I can see the carpet. Ah, uh, lucky you don't want to see this. <laughs> it is. I also wondered on Terrible. on you on YouTube. I try and I'm trying to fill the sort of um the airtime, but. Uh, when I'm speaking, it usually puts my stupid picture on the screen. Yeah, it does. It's what's always. You used to be able to control it, but for some reason. It doesn't force it know. anymore, does it? I thought you could right, click on it. That, but... is, that is done, and uh, yeah, I have, but it doesn't seem to swap much over much anymore. That is extremely fragile, so I shall now lose the top. Sorry. <clears throat> Blues a soldier. Buffalo soldier. Oh, it's copyright. Can you fix it? <laughs> okay. That's got constant. <laughs> a, lot we, a lot of what you didn't show is the end result there. <laughs> right, so that's wire 10 and pin 26. Jump has changed back to 1. Uh, BIOS needs to be set to drive A. Please don't get electrocuted again. Especially the power room. There's a huge lag now. There we go. Right. Okay, power on. Screwdriver power button. Patent pending rusty screwdriver. Hmm. Yeah, I'll plug it in. Oh, I'm sorry, that's copyright as well. Mark had the original rusty screwdriver. Right, looking. Okay. BIOS, 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 delete, 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 delete. Oh, hello. Ugh. It just did two. It did two. And it's done something again. Oh. No, it's done three. I'm not sure that's normal. Oh, gosh. Why has it done that? You have to wait for that. Hang on. What, uh, oh, is it USB? Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, yeah I've had that recently. What? Not Did it? It should. Unless it's crashed something. No keyboard. Come on, keyboard. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the shopping centre keyboard. Supermarket. Yeah. Keyboard yeah. stopped working. For yeah, it's, prob oh. it's probably because um, no, it's probably because in in that menu it doesn't put the drivers on for the keyboard. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. Uh, it usually flashes. Uh, it sits. Oh, hang on, what's it doing now? <laughs> what is that computer doing? I think it's catching up with my button pressing. I'm not sure. Probably. The keyboard's not lit up. Uh, did the uh, drive make the, the three same sounds, or was it different? different? They were definitely different. Oh, I was trying to access the disk then, okay. That proves that floppy drive B doesn't work very well in Windows.
don't want to look express. I just want to test my thingy here. That ah, keyboard's back. I think it's because it's just in that in that menu doesn't it doesn't work. You have to put the USB keyboard option on in the BIOS. We have no floppy in the start menu. Oh the... God! Why has it done that? Oh, I know. Maybe it's drivers. It's not installing drivers, is it? No, that was uh, just some Windows updates. There's a surprise. So it's not recognising it. Um, to do my computer control panel device, sorry, um, device manager. Oh. Omni flop. Um, does it have the no floppy drives in there? No, just Omni flop. Um, how can a normal drive work and that drive not work? Maybe there's a problem with the drive. No, it's more likely that it's the red. It's only the signal it gets is the ready signal, and that might be different that's timing. That's I need to tell it in the BIOS. Probably. Possibly. Try. <clears throat> just let's just see if um. No. Give it a rest a second. At least you can see if it still says um, Omniflop still says it can, can't find a drive or not. Oh, is it set to drive B? Yeah, but it's set to drive B. Uh, so you've got wire 10 on pin 26 now? Yeah. Right, if this swaps around again, and I don't know what the hell was going on, I said, yeah, I could try it on. Um, Right on A. Uh, I don't know what to say it to though. I don't think it really matters. We'll believe it does and carry on. <laughs> yeah. Probably was it? Is that five and a quarter or three and a half? Five and a quarter. I'm gonna just set it to. Yeah, it's probably better. <laughs> and thank God for that. Mm. That sounds a lot better now. Uh, another way to do it, to force it to work, is to tie the ready pin to ground or something. That's my theory. Right, let's have a look. But it's not there. Oh, we have a five and a quarter inch A drive. God for that. Um, just clicked on it and it's trying. It's looking for disk. Hang on. Excellent. It's reading. I think it might get angry. It's trying to read, but I don't think it can read the disk. No, that's fine. Cancel. No. Yeah, that's fine. So try um. Oh. Uh, I think you might have to try, try again. It's not the cardboard disk. Is it? No. <laughs> no, it's just an inserted disc. That's fine. Rest touch. Shall I try blank in case it's just. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably better anyway. Corrupted. Well, no, it, won't. it, it probably won't read it anyway. Why is that? Because it's in its own format. Oh, right, it's not DOS. So yeah, we need no, Omni talk to it. Yeah, no, it's just a good though. It's good. It means it's working, but you might need to install the um, Omniflop driver for the floppy drive on the device manager. Unless it's actually, it might still be there. It already was. Yeah, not the not the controller one. The actual floppy drive though. It should be in device manager now. Oh, hang on. Let's check. Drive A. Get this map. A. Yes. Ooh. Well, it's definitely trying to read. It's only estimating a minute, and it's going fast. Does it sound sort of random? Making a whole noise. noise. It doesn't sound like it's stepping, and it's only giving a minute, so... 
I think what it does is it, it does a run so it can figure out how many what the maximum tracks are. Uh, it, it might even clunk it to the end stops to figure that out. So I can't tell if the heads are stepping, but it's making a hell of a noise. Sounds very weird. Oh, no floppy in it. Hang on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Uh, it's not. Sh it's not shut. Right, let's try again. See. Does, yes. it you, does it let you cancel? Oh, it does. <clears throat> does it sound like a phone? Um, the, the reading light isn't on. No, that's just that's the um, from the CPU board, I think. Uh, yeah, we're just we're just talking to the drive drive directly, so it only have the power light on. Does it sound like it's actually? Does it sound like it's moving back and forward type sound? Not to me. Oh, I like stuck. There's a bloody um, Google Hangout keeps um, muting the sound down on it. Reading. Now what? <laughs> no idea. Disk OFM. See, that's why you need um, Hex, Hex Workshop installed permanently, because it's brilliant. Nothing found, 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 nothing found. Nothing found, nothing found. I don't know what that format even does, to be honest. Just try a... Uh, try a dis dump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try, yeah, try that one. So, function is not currently available. Uh, um, what does read what disk, it? though? I don't know the difference between read disk and disk dump. Such a strange thing. Test density. Cool. Not available. Read this. Uh, read. Heads twitched. Interesting. Unknown uniform custom format. Um. Yeah. Just let's see if you can figure it out. Please try the diag test disk. Sorry, this function requires registration. I've, I'm sure oh, I have to get a try and get a license. Oh, I can't get a license. It's so stupid. Oh, it makes me angry. Oh. Cat's been a pain. Uh, if I do test disk. I'll see if I've got a license still for that machine. I can't remember. It. The head's just twitched again. And it comes up with that shite. The big one with loads of different stuff. What the um? Oh yeah, try the um Sharp X sixty eight thousand. It's sort there's of there's no option. There's only there's only a few there. All oh, right, it's got to have the license then. I'll try and find this stupid thing. Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Omniflop, but it is really annoying. Ah, there's that one. Uh, Sharp. Sure. I can't. Uh, I can't see a sharp option. Yeah, I'll try and uh, I'll send you this um, registration code. I don't even know if it's for that PC now. I found the sharp X68000. Yeah, 77 tracks. This drive supports no predefined formats. Why well, does it know that? It doesn't know anything about the drive. <laughs> well then, we'll try that. Read disk. We have a twitch, and then unknown uniform custom format. So this requires registration. I've sent you a code there, but I don't know, don't know if it's going to work. I don't even know how I registered it now. What's the code? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, is that PC on the net as well, is it? No. Uh, Oh, oops. Oh, I'm Git. I think my keyboard's dying. Um. Yeah, right. It does say in the. It does um, say in 
nothing found, nothing found means there's a definite problem with your setup. Or so it says. And here's another registration code. I don't know how it's registered. Hey! Oh no, yeah, that's another code there as well. It's completely uh, random. And then vanish and go to that code again. And I can't remember if it's a registration, like it's a universal license or it's a specific one. Uh, the first code is. I can't remember. The license is for unrecognized formats or for hardware, BIOS, or software that is not set up correctly. Right, so we're going for the, which code are we going for? Yeah, top one's supposed to be. I don't know if it's universal or not. But I can't remember if it asks you for my email address and things or not. Register by online or register by email. Hang on, I don't know if this our keyboard's working, but it won't type in there. Um, did it say register by email? It might ask. I know there's a register, e register online, isn't there? Yeah, because yeah, and it should give you another window then with the code thing. I'll have to connect this thing to the net. I thought I'd bloody done that on that PC. Oh, crap. Come on, I've got a dev accent. Can you do it on yours? This is not connected to the net. Hang on. Well, that's the thing. It's got some way of using a serial number on a hard drive or something so it knows which PC it was done on, which is really even more annoying. I think that's how it works anyway. Uh, it's not connected to the net. Um, um, if I try mm. get a license, you go, you do not need license. Uh, universal license. It says register. registration code here. And it says enter registration key, apparently. Um, C U S. Uh, uh, what's that? Is that right? Is it say if you've got enter registration? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, just working on this crap here. You probably find the code won't work now. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, but that's your code. I don't. I'm, I thought you were typing in your new one. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Online registration. Register online. Blah blah blah. Oh, I see. I've got to put my email address in. Uh, one after the backslash is either a J or an I. Can't really tell. Uh, let's go. It's got a J on it. Oh, formats you're using. Do I have to do all this, really? Yeah. I'll put paintball. Give us. <laughs> it's not even, it's not even, you're not even paying for anything. It's just a, no reason. <laughs> Sorry, Jason. Sorry, uh, PC type motherboard. I can't remember. It's an Epox. Uh, 8RDA 3G, I believe. Who cares? <laughs> Address. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Sorry, Fluffy. Steve. 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 <laughs> ah, thank goodness for that. I'm working the obsession with throwing new network cables out. Uh, yeah, um, there is a slight problem, as as is always the case with this software. <laughs> I'm sorry, the online system cannot allocate you a license. Please contact me via email. To uh, it's just so I might because you've got that license slightly wrong. So annoying. What do you uh, What did you think the other character? An I. I'll try an I. No, nope, still doesn't work. I'm just connecting it to the network. Hang on. I don't think you're going to have much luck because it still wants you to go via email. Unless that bloody thing's down. 
Well, yeah, see if those, you can see if those codes were got sent. They might work as a universal license. Uh, enter registration key. Great. Your registration key is a really long registration key. Uh, I don't know if you have to specifically choose which type of license you want or not. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm going to see if this will get on the line and go to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that, that site's down. Definitely didn't work. No, I meant... Uh, ah, there we go. Just Facebook. Cut paste. Ah. Ah, you see. I'm smart. If this thing has no control with the web, either. So like every PC has to have a bloody internet connection. It's like an, it's like an Xbox One. Oh, sorry, I can't mention that. This is a great little PC. I know. It works fine for most jobs. If you don't want to do games, it works bloody fast. I know. I'm yeah. just kind of surprised how fast it was. For some reason, it's one of those PCs that's nice. There it is. I can just cut and paste now. No. I, did, I did fully test that one because I had trouble with the other old boards that I had. I had an old um, MSI board. I wasn't very happy. I might have broken the bin. Sorry, this function requires registration. Which function? Awesome. <laughs> how, how did you enter? How did you enter the license? So did you did you, you choose to um, get a license? No, I just cut and paste up yours. Yeah, but how did you choose it in the software? Did it, uh, it just comes up with a little box there? Register online, register by email. Did you try? If you try and go from the main the first page, go to um, get a license. All right, hang on. You do not normally need a license. Well, you bloody do. You should know the nice license you want. Well, right. <laughs> like, which form? Which sort am I after? So, so, you say get. Do you want to get a license? Yeah. Yes. It's asking me which sort. So it would have either been other unproven formats or universal license right at the bottom, which is probably the best one, which covers everything. But I don't know which ones I applied for now. And also, I'm not sure if the the request code that I've got matches what you'd get on that PC because it does it per PC. All right. Well, what a convoluted solution. Product Omniflop version. Registration code. Formats you are using. Yeah, I just put paint box in there, but it didn't work anyway because it says you need to email him. Unknown. PC type motherboard. He's a very helpful chap. He just got very angry when I suggested that the um, licensing is quite annoying. So I put unknown as my uh, PC type. It's, I think it's, it's an Epox 8, 8 RDA 3G. Not that it matters, but. Trucks. <laughs> eight R D whatever eight time T three do. <laughs> Doesn't change that the chip. Uh contact no, I don't need to put contact name and stuff in, do I? No. Mm. Oh no, no. no get license. It's not gonna work. Da -da -da, your license has been generated okay, it's now really? Mine didn't bloody work. <laughs> Gmail to look. Might be just a type. Lucky git. Obviously, oh, I think that's what it, I know what it is. Is because that code was already used then when I was trying to do it before. Was that the universal one? Was it? Yep. Right here we go. There's a load of trash. It's the only piece of software which probably reads this as well. Okay. Okay. Finish. The license already exists. What? Well, they're toss bags. Right. Okay. So you have to go read disk, I guess. Uh, pardon. Oh God. What a load of crap. Disk. 
drive A. Uh, What's it mean? Oh. Oh, hello. Um, okay, it looks like it's going to read it this time. I don't, think, don't know about, about that. Desktop. Uh, standard disk image. Finish. The media in the drive can. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh no. No, it's all right. It's just me and myself. <laughs> oh. No, no, it can't read it. No. What, what's it doing that noise? I don't know. The head's just twitch and then it says, oh, no, thank you. Load of crap. Um, Try it down. Yeah, diagnostics. Oh. No, I don't want to try. Oh, a test installation as well, because you might need to um, see if the driver is installed properly. Back. Test installation for a. Uh, what are we? Sharp X bollocks thingy. Bollocks. The drive supports no predefined formats. How does it know? <laughs> it's a mystery. Diagnostics. That's a, toy, I would say. Uh, uh, test disk? Disk dump? No idea. Well, sorry, this function is not currently available. That doesn't, say, so it doesn't, doesn't make sense, does it? You say universal license, it still doesn't let you do anything. No. It's evil. Oh, I'm going back to that shit now. So what license this is it? It's rubbish. Well, well, no, but it's the only software that works. Oh, no. well, so basically, what it's saying is, it wants you to ask you for a license for every single format that you use. Yeah, basically. Oh, it's genius. I did say to him, I would be very happy to pay for a, a fixed license which works for everything. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It is. I'm doing the mapping of the floppy. It's right. going slow, and I can hear the cylinders moving with each test. Right, okay. It looks like it's mapping it. So it should be should be 77 tracks, but if it's a blank disc, I'm not sure if it needs a, um, a real says disc it, or not. It says 83 cylinders. Uh, that's probably like the maximum for the drive, but yeah. 5 minutes 53. And as you can hear, it's twitching. I'm not convinced that's doing very much. Listen, listen. Yeah, but is it just going back and forward? I don't know. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? <laughs> uh, oh, no, we're not sure about that. You get electrocuted again. Ah, uh, we're fine. <laughs> I'm used does, to it, it. does it list the cylinders on the screen, does it? No, it's going through them all, one at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah, it may need a proper dip. Oh, hello. Like that. <laughs> what was that curry? Make sure you've got all the screws right, there. That's a good idea. It's going. It's moving. Is it always going the same direction? No, it's back and forwards. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Oh no, that was that was the other way. Was it sort of jumping? It's doing the. Um, it's the last three were backwards. Two steps nice. forward, one step back. What's that song? No, it's just moved forward all the way. Oh, it's pulled a abdul then. Now it's going back. Back again. <laughs> it seems to take two or three steps back and then comes forward again. Is it generally moving forward slowly, though? Yeah. Well, it seems to jump straight back to the middle. Oh. Oh. Ooh. It's just back to the end. And now it's gone back. Ooh. Oh. I think it's because it's looking. It's it's actually looking for data then. It's gone back to the end. Listen, now the heads work. Oh yeah. Gone back down to the middle now. I suppose this is kind of progress. It could be the disc anyway. Yeah.
There we go. I'll make it more geeky for you. Ooh. Oh, bloody. I've got the Omnipop, um, wi- Omnipop window in my way. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this best one. Oh, it's like it's like riding the, on a disk drive. What is it doing? Um, I'm just trying to get what you can see. Ah, there you go. Right. Hoping... That's better. You can see now. I'm hoping there's no. Uh, I'm hoping there's no disc clamp on there or anything. Hey? I'm hoping there's no head clamp on it. I don't think there is anyway. It just seems to me that it's hitting the end stop by the looks of it. That was the end stop. <laughs> I don't know what it thinks it's doing. Keeps going backwards slightly, then forwards, and then goes to the middle. Have a look around. Does it have a... I think what it actually does, it actually purposely hits the end stop so it can um, try and find the tracks, like end, half tracks and things. I think it's trying to read drives, but there's nothing there, is it? Well, no, it doesn't really fill me with confidence, though, that software scares me. Can you write software that would work run, read this? It's mm. quite, it's quite difficult. Sasha probably could. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's only, it should just literally just step each track at a time. Oh, it's there supposed you go. To, just oh, it's quite a few. Oh, it's definitely got its index. Down. It's got its index pulse, and otherwise it would hit the end stop all the time. Yeah, it might need an actual data disk. Data disk. Like it's brass tax. Oh, which one? Which one is it? That is brass tax. Oh. That's maybe it's too. The disk maybe it's too rubbish. No. Hello. I'll see what it comes up with. It might find something. Possibly. It's right. on. Suspense is killing me. Sector seven. Oh God. Sector seventy-four. Oh, okay. Make three. a very strange way of doing tracks. Hmm. I don't know what, where these tracks are, but spend most of his time in the area. Should be as simple as just toggling the one pin. It's just 77 we'll tracks. Done on the hard drive. Oh, that's... See this done on the hard drive. That's the next one. <laughs> yeah, that could yeah, be interesting. Reading this map succeeding. Let's really? I'll be amazed uh, if it's found anything. Oh, a little bit of notepad. You'll never guess. Hmm? I will. It's going to say not found, not found, not found. Can't see. Evil camera. Okay, not found. Does it anyone? Nothing found. What, in the whole list? Yeah. The whole thing was nothing found. Oh. Let me just try another disk. I don't, is there not? Is there another function that just reads? Oh, I don't like this software. It's just crazy. So it says, what's the difference? Oh. You think it's got diagnostics? It's got what's the difference between read disk, dump disk, get disk, get disk, dump, dump disk, get disk map? I don't understand. Uh, this function is not available. Yeah. Okay, dump, dump disk doesn't exist. This map takes 18 minutes. <laughs> right, I've got EastEnders. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh no. It's gonna, it's so, we're going to test the disc, are we? Oh, it's going to write over Pat Butcher. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll get a copy right Test just comes with a stupid little screen. Oh, what's it doing? At least the head went back. I did not ask it to do that. Yeah, I didn't ask it to do that. 
That's good. Next thing you know, we get a copyright notice from the BBC for their own stuff. Oh, that's just when you start the test disc, which just goes to that other screen, which is completely useless. Yeah, just resets right, dump it. Disc. Dump Sorry, disc. this function is not currently available. Yeah, I've realised that dump disc actually isn't even implemented, as I don't think. I don't understand what the difference is no. between dump and read. Uh, densities just isn't available. Installation. Uh, Hmm. This drive supports 265 predefined formats. What's auto sensing? Yeah, right. I'll go for the sharp. Yeah, 77 tracks, 1.2 meg. Yeah, all it, all it does is it goes back to the menu. It's stupid. It's the most crazy software ever. This drive supports zero predefined formats now. Oh, I'm trying to find another... Oh, I know. See if um, if this doesn't work, try and go into hex edit and see if you can open the drive manually. The what? You can, op you can actually open the drive directly in hex edit, hex workshop. Oh, WinHex, is that? Uh, either does it, but if you, I don't know which one you've got installed on there. WinHex. I thought it was hex workshop. Ah. It's probably simple. I can, get, I can get Hex Workshop. No, either either work. It's just I'm, I'm not sure if um how it, if I'm not sure if it still expects a DOS disk. I'm guessing it probably does. Yeah. What do I do on WinHex then? Uh, I'm trying to I'll load it up on here. Come on. Stupid hard drive. On. Um, tools, open disk. I have to close Omni. Have to close Omniflop though. Uh, it's, om it's Omniflop um, closed. Yeah. It's closed. <laughs> uh, physical media. Logical yeah. Partitions. Always go Remove for. Always go for physical because it skips all the DOS. The crap. disk has switched. Uh, drive is not ready for use. Mm, that's interesting. Well, its door is open, its door is closed, and the disk is spinning. Maybe that's what I'm saying about the ready signal. It doesn't actually um, work how it's supposed to. So, it might be worth at some point I have to ground that signal to the other pin or something. Um, I don't know which other software would read read like Omniflop does really. You could try um which which pin are we grounding? <laughs> it would be who is it? On the actual connector on the drive would be Oh, where is it? Can't find it now. Pin twenty two. There's a cat trying to poke on me now. Go away. Right, pin 22. Does Fluffy know CPR? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's the red side. Um sort of two pins down from the one you redid. Oh, there's two together, and then a space and another two. So on that top, if you hold the plug with the plug facing away from you, sort of thing. <coughs> you, like that, yeah. So it's pin across the top row of the red wires. It's 2468 across the top. Yeah. So looking for twenty-two, which should be two, two to the left of the one you soldered. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. That one, yeah. Yeah. Right so the red one. Yeah, that's the one. In that, it's like in that block of three, isn't it, or something? There's a yeah, cat. Two, block of two. 
have a cat trying to chase a mouse, the computer mouse. <sighs> Idiot cats. <laughs> yeah, 20, yeah, it's two, so 22 need, index pulse. So that needs to be connected to a uh, ground. Um, this is from the drive's point of view, yes. The, um, from the PC's point of view, sorry. So I connect that to a blue one? Yeah. I, I don't know if it needs to be timed only when it does a drive select signal or if we just ground it completely. I have no idea. Something that oh, Mr. P I don't know if it makes it ground all the time, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's going to harm anything. Is it? I think it's open collector anyway. Um, something Mr. Payne might know a bit about. Try and find it quickly in the manual. Just making okay. a very small one here. Ready? Where's the ready signal? Yeah, pin 22. Um, yeah, the open collector anyway, so it doesn't matter if you ground it because it, it actually all it does is pull the pin down. There's no like, it doesn't apply five volts to it. I'm just manufacturing a very thin wire. You have to do it by um, if you pull the heat shrink back on the, the one of the blue wires, the ground wires, and just solder across to that. Solder. Or either or wrapping wire. Oh, no. this ain't gonna work. <laughs> it's too fine. Why is Adobe Reader so slow? It always is. It's got a quad yeah. core PC. It's still slow. When ready signal is low, the drive is ready. No. DC power is supplied. A flexible disc has been inserted. Rotational speed has reached more than 70%. Only side zero has been selected if the disc is single-sided. What? Whatever. Uh, I can't connect them. <laughs> it's too fine. Protect. Floppy drive, ready signal, ground. All oh, right, that's interesting. Modern, modern floppy drives don't provide the old ready signal, so the ready line needs to be shorted to ground on the spectrum. What? Sasha Bonbaron Bonbaron I'm just trying to thread this it's like threading a needle and making a very gash connection <laughs> cable I'm going to send this back for rewiring I think <laughs> yeah that's okay Proper one. I have to put these gas connections because it's not permanent. I may, anyway. I may still do the drive thing though if you're up for it. Oh, what the oh, the, the big one? Yeah, just the actual drive itself. I can spend a lot of time then because I'm just absolutely determined things like that. I'll figure it out in the end. Very disconcerting hearing my own voice still. You get used to it. Not through my own ears, I mean, like. Think about a year ago, I would never have gone on the Hangouts. <laughs> I did Pal Talk chat rooms for ten years, and I never went, never used voice. Yeah. That's how bad I was. Ready signal. Um, no, can't find anything. Need it's on the bottom of the grounds. Yeah, all the whole row, all the whole lot at the bottom of the grounds. I can just rest it against one of them then. Yeah. You're saying yeah, the one directly below it, you might be able to wrap wire or something. Or bend the pins. Just bend the pins over actually. In fact you don't even need you could just you don't even need the um the wires on what all the pins. You can you can take the wire off and bend the pins together. Yeah, that's not no my look. They are quite flimsy. 
was the same um, connector as used on the um, paintbox test jig. Very cheap. Uh, I'm not even sure if I can say the brand names anymore. From a retail electrical outlet. A very famous one. Names. Maplin. <laughs> yeah, they're the That's why it's cheap and nasty. Well, we know it's doing the head load thing. It's definitely doing the head clamp thing, isn't it? Yep. Uh, Get legs that bit. Does a bit of clampage. It's definitely got track zero. The only other signal it knows is obviously the data and the ready signal. I don't know what in use means though. Uh, this connection makes the other one look good. <laughs> Let me try that. I think the internet's particularly bad today. Uh, I forgot it's 9pm, 9, 9 is always peak time. I don't, ours doesn't fluctuate. It shouldn't do, I mean, we'll get, we're still, I was testing it all last night, we're still getting 28, sort of 28, 29 meg. Right, uh, I don't know where my connection is, but we shall see. But the ping rate is a bit cack. Getting 40, 50 milliseconds, I was getting 16 or 19 the first few weeks. 23 megabits and 5 up load. Right, let's see. No, driver's not ready for use. Um, is that in WinHex? Yeah, I probably have to ignore that because it's trying to do it through um, DOS style. It tries to work through the BIOS. Drive a file system. So is this pin 22? Is it pin 22 still connected to the with the red heat shrink? I don't know anymore. I'm lost. <laughs> you know the wire you grounded. Is it still connected at both ends? It's still connected. Yeah, it's still connected. I just pulled the heat shrink back a bit. I don't know where my connection is. <laughs> So it's just grounded to the blue wire, is it? One of the bottom, just one of the bottom pin. I've pulled it towards it and wrapped it around. Okay, try um, Omniflop again. Actually, before that, try just try drive A and to see what the heads do if they're going fully forward and things. Cold off. All right. It's twitching. It's trying to read. Mm. It says please insert a distance driver, but the heads are twitching. Well, that's okay. It's just yeah, it's just trying to find a boss disc. There you go. <clears throat> oh, that's loud. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Last time, then. Did it not try and do that before? No, not at all. Really? No. Ooh, it's actually, moving down the disc a bit. Yeah, it's moving down the disc. You can see there. It sort of goes backwards, though, doesn't it? See? It goes backwards a step, doesn't it? Or it's moving this way. No, it's continuously going this way. That's interesting. Well, the computer says, please insert a disk. I think I'd probably stop that before it gets to the end. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, what's going to do? Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. yeah. Well, it shouldn't do. The point is, they're supposed to know. How many tracks on a PC disk? 80, isn't it? No idea. I've forgotten. Um... PC. Oh, hello. So it's just me. I'm I was looking at properties. Um, property drive. Yeah, 80 tracks, I think. OK. 
place some five and a quarter inch or eight inch drives. Are they? This is an eight inch drive. Yeah, it's got. I've come across a lot of info I've already looked at before about how to replace a bigger drive with a, with a three and a half drive. This is obviously the RPMs different as well. Um, was it set as five and a quarter still? Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure they're 360 RPM. Okay, I'll try um, Omniflop again, I suppose. I'll just see what it does when it gets to the end. <laughs> it makes a funny sound and it's not good. I've got my finger on the council button. <laughs> What's. Why would it. I don't know why it would do that. Neither there. Oh, I see. It is. Press to, press to read. Moves. Press to read. It is like one. It is one step in the sort of the little back and forth thing. That's interesting. Oh, it did go backwards then, yeah. 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 So it's Come counting forward, 80, yeah. 80 tracks. Come yeah. forward twice now. Oh, and I turn back. Yeah. So it's and then backwards. Okay. So did did it not do that at all before? No, nothing. Just yeah. twitched. Okay, I'll we'll try, yeah. Uh, Omni flop on the better success. Uh, next. Which what? What shall we go for? I don't know. It's, it's like, basically like Russian roulette. I have Read no idea. Drive A. Me doing the drive cannot be read. And it says. Really? Yeah, but it's, it's hitting the end stop now. I know. Uh, not, very, not very clever, who is it? Let me just see if I can reset that. Uh, hang on. Eight. Cancel. There was something that reset it here. Diagnostics, next. Thank you, Dan. That might be um, get this map again or something, test this. Get this map. Was something that sent at the beginning. Yeah, that, 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 that there. Yeah, that's the sound you don't want to hear really often. Uh, if I take the disc out and try it, will it reset? So look. Probably not, because I don't think it knows the difference. That may actually be a consequence of um, grounding the ready pin, possibly. I don't know how that relates to what it what it's sensing. That's great. Steve, I'm watching your live feed, and I've only just started doing it. Could the disc be an old corrupt? Are you sure? Well, it doesn't yes, matter about the tracks. You, uh... Omni floppers locked down. <laughs> <laughs> Was that definitely pin 22, wasn't it? 246, 18, 20. I might have to yeah. send this cable back for refurbish. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have to have to pay for the drive to be shipped. I can mess about with it then. Hmm. Pin 16, I don't even know what that does. Yeah, it doesn't even use it. There's a reader. But it definitely works. Yeah, it's trying to. I'm not sure why it's changed the behaviour of it though when when the ready pin's been grounded. Yeah, the drive itself won't um won't reset the heads because it's just a it's just a dummy. Dad, you dummy read by mind. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's just it's, you're literally controlling it directly with those pulses. Only the PC can control it. Drive itself is is um is a dumb terminal, completely dummy. Is there a command we can send it through a suit? Oh no, oh, that cable's all there somewhere. 
no. So, so, they, <laughs> so they, even if I have to do because it should be, I, mean, I don't know why it's the format's so strange to it, because all you need to do is, um, the software should do is just, you know, do one track at a time and read the data. Oh. Alcohol. I'm going to be getting alcohol because I'm going to set finish this little box very shortly and then set up ready for the night. Go. Hmm. Yes. So, sorry. <laughs> Wifey is complaining that I'm not drinking booze. <laughs> I've sacrificed my lager for you. <laughs> That's called anti anti electrocution booze. Yeah. Oh, I never drink and do this at the same time. Great. <laughs> Don't drink and crawl. <laughs> There's a new mother. But drinking probe. Really? Not I, that kind of probe when you don't mind the gate. I enjoy my probing too much to drink and miss it. Not that kind of probe when you don't mind the gate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pig. Pig. Jimmy can't get little connectors for these wires on the on the plug you dump. That so really you've got, oh you probably can actually get little connectors so you can just swap them over. To be fair, they're really Really easy to solder. <laughs> I don't know. I think I, t- I think maybe I'll take it for granted now because they're literally the they're the they're probably the widest apart pins you can get apart from the mains plug. <laughs> Have you got any of those little connectors you can just slide on and off? Um, see, it's not a very because it's quite a cheap connector. They they got they got the kind of flat pins, so normally you'd be able to get the little connectors for it. But you could use something like an IC. Something Might like be a nice. good idea to do it that way, then you can swap over easily. <laughs> Possibly, yeah, I could do a little test jig thing, but I mean, it's this thing, it's only got those certain signals, as long as the, um, they're all in the right places, I just don't understand what's going on with the software. Um, I'll check my, make sure that connection is any good to the ground, hang on. If you can get a, oh, you can't get a meter in there, because it's upside down, isn't it? Ow. I'd say multimeter would be good, but you can't really get to, get to it. Stop shocking me. Thank you, Ned. <laughs> you need to get your house sorted out. The um, You need to get an exorcism in there or something. Yes. Right. Okey-dokey. Let me just check quickly. <laughs> See the Discovery's channel still turfing out the same rubbish. Alien Mysteries, Discovery Channel, Discovery Channel's got still got crop circles and Alien Mysteries and. That's why I don't subscribe. Oh, it's just so bad. Wicked Tuna. Who cares? Come off. I do watch the Deadliest Catch occasionally, but that's pretty much the same with every episode now. Anyway, the Life of Mammals from ten years ago. <laughs> Jurassic Pork. Yes. Yes. Why don't I just go to Nightmare Next Door. Ronnie Biggs. Beverly Hills Cock. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie does. Debbie, Debbie does Durham. <laughs> I've actually got that on my playlist for some reason. We've named it Terrible Terrible Beauty. Oh, don't play it! Don't play it! I'll get lost in it! Is there a maximum, like a, a minimum amount you can play without get, without getting tagged? I only play Black Beauty. Yeah, five seconds or something, stuff like that. I have to speed it up and do a Blade remix then. <laughs> <laughs> I did that once. It's Although my, my live hangouts have now got whacked and they've got loads of music. Yeah, strange. Right, the connection's good. I don't know if it's supposed to be connected now. It's not like it would damage it. It's just that. It seems to be doing something different this time. Oh, hang on, this stupid thing. This is the mains has got a bit of a sh- the mains has got a bit of a short on it. It's not it's got to be wiggling its start up. That's not good. Parking's never a good thing. Diagnostics. 
So this is eight inch yes. drive has provision some uh all uh, right disc change some eight inch drives provide a true ready signal which is more useful than a standard ready signal right Get off. now it says it's scanning but it's not stupid cat <laughs> Omnigimp says it's scanning, but it's not. <laughs> um, it's a bit strange where the heads are still going the same direction. Do they ever step backwards quite a bit now? They were doing. Mm. Shall I push it manually to the other end? I'm not <laughs> sure if we need to maybe disconnect that wire, I'm not sure. Which wire? The um, round one. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing about the amateur. Might to buy you a buy a pocket <laughs> donate to you a pocket scope because they're very handy. As much as um, EV blog and uh, Mike Mike would. Well, I'm degrounding it. So no EV blog really doesn't like the pocket scopes, but I did say to them you have to get the the better one that came out recently. It has got a lot better firmware. Not the cheap, cheap I like ones. My new scope. I like yeah, my new scope. Yeah, you can't really beat an analog scope, really. But they're just they're, if they were a bit smaller, it'd be okay. The digital analog scope. Yeah, but if they had a, if you could replace the, the you could replace the <laughs> CRT with something smaller, you could make that really compact. Well, you could send that signal to an LCD, couldn't you, with some drivers, driving chips. Um. Which what the oh what, make your own little scope? Yeah, I've got pocket scope projects on the net. Yeah, just they're not particularly good themselves. My okay, much. go go save go yes go. Like the heads, I've degrounded it, and that's the result. Basically, when I tried to do it. A... Sounds like it's not stepping um, back backwards. No, do you want me to, shall I push it manually? Uh, you might have to turn the mains off first, though, yeah, because the motor yeah, stops. It'll just fight me if I don't. <laughs> it's very strange, though. There we go. It says that the direction signal is on pin 34 on the drive. Okay, right, here goes. It's really weird. <laughs> That's just by me to do one. Well, that sounds a bit buggered. Yeah, that's not happy. Why would it do that now? It's a mystery, it's a mystery. Oh, God. Yes? Not, not him. Oh, right, okay. I should well, turn. I'm an atheist. I'm going to a game called Shatner where someone else Shatner at you. And you have to overreact whatever you're currently doing. Who said that? I play that game all the time. <laughs> ow, ow, I got a thump, ow. <laughs> Who are they talking about, are we? Here we go. I didn't hear that. Here you go. This is domestic abuse. Hang on, just see if I, I'll just get your screen up so I can see what you can see. Where are you, table? It's kind of um, very, um, it's generally very bright, so it washes it out. I'll post it on your My page, but it basically says, I think we should invent a game called Shatner, where somebody shouts out Shatner and you overreact no matter what you're doing. Oh, no, and I weird. said, females do that anyway. Oh, that what you said. <laughs> I didn't hear that the females were. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's probably true. That's not happy. Well, we're we'll right in the middle. I don't understand why the heads have changed. They couldn't have damaged it just doing that. They did that before, before it worked properly. What, before even it on Omniflop? it started scanning properly, it was doing that. What, even on Omniflop? Yeah. Uh, which which one are you doing? Test disc or dump disc or...? Uh, disc map. 
that's not happening to me. <laughs> no, that's definitely... Uh, might have to do an Arduino job on there. Um, oh, yeah, that's the other thing to check. If you checked in the um, control panel, device manager, see if the... Oh, I know. I've just got control of it. Oh, I went back again. Yeah, I pressed this and it sort of shot back. And I'll just do a... Uh, I'll just do a... Be, 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 be. A... Uh, there you go. It's testing the sun. It's working again. I did okay. test this and it shot the heads back to the beginning. Yeah, but it shouldn't be doing that weird sound. It's not very... You know, something's going on with the software otherwise. Unless it's because when you do the cylinders thing, the computer is not re It's omnifocant. It, it doesn't tell the computer to the drive to reset. Oh, uh, yeah, but it should... So it's the thing, it should it do it in the software. Yeah. All the software knows is whether the um, the heads have reached the um, index, the zero cylinder or not. That isn't built for 8-inch floppies, is it? It might, not, it might need a reset signal. No, but it, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. It, all it does, all it knows is it the direction of the heads, the head step, and the um, the zip track zero. Heads are flying across now. It's acting so, completely different than it did earlier. So the software is supposed to know how to control all that, and it sh should always do a zero before it starts anything. Ash, it's acting differently again. It is jumping tracks, isn't it? Seems like it's trying it's to good. read. Last time it just came straight to here and started jumping back, going back, and then back here. Now yes. it's going down. Looks like it's reading different areas as well. Oh, that was a stop. Might be a stop. What was it doing stop. that? It shouldn't, shouldn't do that. Oh, maybe it does, actually. It's going back now. I think it knows it's trying to find the zero stop, but generally, that's what it's meant to do. It's Then then it knows how many tracks the maximum can do. Can Hope, I'm, I'm hoping that, anyway. It's, maybe another... it's going down the disc in different amounts of uh, jumps. I've seen it when the um, the cryo flux does that, and it does a very quick movement. It scans the disc to see what the maximum cylinders is. Well, it didn't hit the uh, end on that stop and that one. I'm not sure why Omniflops quite works the way it does. It doesn't seem to like that sector. It's another silly question, but is it is the um, oh. is the plug connected right the way up to the plastic part? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's, it doesn't sound healthy. I'm convinced. That's a nicer sound, isn't it? Could it be the software driven, but it, uh, could it be that the software doesn't understand these sectors? It's asking for 83 sectors, and this is well, only 77, so it might be it, confusing it. No, I think it's what it's testing for. If it goes for a maximum, then it, it tries to hit the end stop, and also it jiggles the heads to try and find half tracks, because some of them double density and things like that. It's got, you know, all sorts of things that you'd think but it wouldn't... It's the software telling the heads, isn't it? That's it, but you would you'd think that the, it would find a sort of fast way to map the drive. If the software doesn't completely understand the drive, it's going to smack its heads, isn't it? Yeah, but it's this, that's the point it's supposed to know. What it does is it, it hits it to the end stop, then it knows if it goes back to zero and it's got back to zero before it thinks it has, it knows it how many tracks it's got. That's the theory. But all yeah, it should do is go track zero, read, track one, read, track two, read and it knows it's 360 RPA and it knows the data rate. I might have to write my own software. Plus this disk's probably buggy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's possible, yeah. You know, they might have found something. Did, they, did you still mm -hmm. get the impression they might have um, erased them, or...? I don't know. Yeah. That would be a bit of a problem, wouldn't it? That's extended, so maybe erase that. <laughs> I'm going to wait. So I'm going to put everything away after this one and get ready for the oh, live yeah. show. If you do get the scope out at some point, though, you can check on the read data pin, pin 46 on the drive, and you can see if the data is whizzing along. Hmm. It's not particularly fast. 
Still under 59, allegedly. That can't possibly be doing that. That's not working properly. Seems to be stuck now. Yeah, it's bouncing the heads back and forward. It's not... That was me. <laughs> People talking about electric shocks now. Did I mention that? I don't think I mm -hmm. mentioned that. Sorry. Let's talk about electric shocks in the group. Oh, yeah, no, I did. Ask that. I said that Mr. Twig says he still gets a tingle when he touches stuff that's earth. I think maybe his house is haunted, maybe. Um, Sasha yeah. said he missed, missed the hangout. Yeah. Yeah. I, could safe, I can probably safely say that's definitely not working right. No oh. way. There's no way it's meant to do that. Oh. I should have done it with an Arduino. It would have been easy. I've got an Arduino, so... It's just easy. Really, there's only about ten signals. Well, you see, you see the amount of red, red wires on there. That's all it needs. It needs... One, two... For reading only. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Needs about nine, ten signals to read a disc. Reading was successful. Was succeed. <laughs> you lying git. Right, tell it. <clears throat> Could you possibly send me that file as well, just out of curiosity? Uh, yeah. Nothing found. Nothing found. Nothing found. Nothing found. I just want to see what sort of layout it's got. Uh, well, you're in there. You are there. You are Mr. Ash Evans. Well, I see uh, you. I've actually only got 12, 12 wires on that connector anyway. It is. It is now yours. Doo -doo. Thank you. It's not, probably not very interesting, but just wanted to see what it said. <coughs> I'm a lumberjack named OK. I work all night on a single day. Now I'm going to get another copyright strike. How can it find nothing found on... That's ridiculous. Unless the floppy is floppy. It could be buggered, yeah. And it's maybe it's not actually giving data out some, somewhere. I'm trying to find... Oh, it's gone all quiet. 32 hard sectors. I didn't even notice the, the spinning sound then. This says 32 sectors. 32? On the disc, yeah, 32 sectors. Oh, is that what is that on the original label though, or not? That's on the 3M label, yeah. Yeah, no, that's just the way they they. Well, I think they were using single densities as as formatting them because they're cheap asses. This is the BBC, uh, remember? It's oh, BBC, yeah. BBC in the 80s. <laughs> I'm going to have to set, uh, get ready for the night show, the big one. Yeah, I may have to um. Steal that drive off you, possibly. Yes, we have to. Yeah. Let, let me know how much the postage is. I'll send it over. Roger. I'll get it off to you. I'm sure. Uh, yes, I'm going to have oh, to yeah. tidy up now. <laughs> okay, I'll let you get on to get the um, hangout going. So, yes, we're not to cut there yet, but we're getting there. Yep. Looking forward to doing this to the hard drive. <laughs> oh no, I've been looking at that again recently. It's yeah, the easiest way is to do it via commands from the paint box and to see what we can check is just look at the status byte to see if the drive's got any faults showing up or not because it won't even tell you on the front. So oh, the paint good. box. Oh yeah. That's the other thing. You have to pull the big the crate out. Oh, <laughs> the crate from hell has to be dragged out. Yeah, and it couldn't talk to it last time. No. But yeah, in debug mode we can talk to the um, drive directly and see what it says. Can you? Yeah, so like you know we did the um, floppy drive with the 
commands, just reading the, the different bytes and addresses, we can actually read the um, status byte back from the drive directly. And if that's buggered, then nothing will work. Using the debug pins? Um, no, just on the um, just fire the paint box straight through its controller board. Oh. You just set you set an address, and it's got CSR one is the disk controller, and you say, please read back this byte, and it says what each bit does, whether it's a fault or cylinder not found or drive ready or whatever. Oh, right. Okay. Turn her off and clean her up. Okay. Let's put Frank and PC back in a crate. Okay. <laughs> Catch you tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I shall see you in a bit. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm in a live face peel on the on the hangout tonight. Face peel? Yeah. Wife is gonna put me a mask on. Okay. Don't forget the cucumbers. <laughs> Just for that. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, just okay. off. This Bye. this video's fine. There's nine people watching it. Okay, see you later. Bye. 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 Bye.